Well, how do there, chums? I've just stopped off and look, I found these things. Now, when you zap these things, you get what's called a glowing mineral. And inside the glowing mineral, you can get some decent freaking resources that I might be able to sell to get a load of units. So there's a glowing mineral. Let me just pop one. I've got loads of these now. Pop that. Look, I just got this. But I have had that before. And look how much it sells for. So hopefully I'll be doing okay. I also got one of these out of a um, damaged machine. I'm going to keep all the technology I find on the way to the actual miner settlement. I'm about half hour away am I now? Under an hour away. But I don't think that's a... I don't think... It's been sitting like an hour away now for probably about half an hour. So hopefully I'm going to be there soon. But anyway, let's just pop these. I'm going to just collect all of these and I'll see you at the miner settlement. Oh, chums, just after those little glowing crystals, I've come across a giant colossal archive. Now, I don't think there's much reason to claim another archive. I've already got one archive. But yeah, might as well, you know. Cool, let's head on down. Let's give this a claim, shall we, people? Stick a little base on this, put a little teleporter on it, and do all that good stuff, I guess. Lovely. Now, the traders that land here, sadly, aren't like the traders in the wild, so they're not going to sell me anything lovely jubbly. But something that I thought about is there is actually a vendor dude in here, isn't there? There's this guy over here. This guild envoy. If we hand stuff into him, do we get given anything cool? Let's have a look. Multi-tool expansion slots for free. Oh my days. If only we could raise our standing so we can get that. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? What does he need in the way of donations? Salvage glass. Well, we could do that, people. Heck yes. We could hand all this stuff in by taking out a load of frickin' sentinels, handing that in, and eventually unlock this. That'd be cool. That'd take a lot of killing, though, wouldn't it? All right, well, that, that, that's something to strive towards, I suppose. Anyway, I'll put down a base computer. Here we go. Lovely jubbly. Ah, I'll stick it there. Why the fudge not? Doesn't really matter where I put this. So I'm going to claim this for the 07 Brew Crew. Nice one. Right, chance of what I'm going to do is I'm going to analyse all of these. Inventory is slightly full there. Cool. Do that as well. We've got all of this sort of stuff here. Gold to... Cool. Alright. Fine. And um, yeah, I'm in survival mode. Let's head on over and let's sell all of that. Let's, let's sell it, shall we, people? Okay, so iridescite. Sells for a heck of a lot. I could sell that because I've got quite a lot of nanites now. But what I don't have now is cash. So I'll sell that. And uh, what else can I sell? Ba -ba -bum. Crystallized sulfide. I might as well sell them. They sell for a fair bit. Sell the granite. Yeah, I can sell that as well. And there we go. I've now got quite a decent stash of units. Lovely. And let's um let's continue on, shall we, people? To our minor settlement. Yeah, I call this the Colossal Archive miles away. I mean how far am I I'm freaking years away from my base now. Say years, it's it's probably like four hours or two hours or whatever. Okay, right, and the minor settlement now is just over there, one hour away. Gone. Cool. Let's go. Right it. None of those are trader ships. Nope. And uh, let's call him my beetle. Beetle, where are you? There you are. Nope, that's not a beetle. Dang it, that's you. Right. Go, go, go. Oh, look at this. Damaged machinery and a load of those crystals again. Let's head on over here. I just opened a couple more of these. Got a load more nanites. And I got some Starship launch thruster fuel. Yeah, let's see what I get on this one. Nanites again. Okay, well let's uh, let's start zapping these then, and uh, yeah, get a load more glowing minerals. I only managed to do a couple of those glowing minerals, and then some Sentinel turned up and started scanning me every time I tried to harvest them. Dang it! Now, as I have been flying over, I have been looking for another minor settlement, which I have not come across. But what I can see there is there's an observatory there. I've come across quite a few observatories. I haven't come across any more manufacturing facilities. I flew over one Sentinel Depot, but I've not really seen much other than that colossal archive that was worth sharing with you guys. So yeah, that's an observatory type one. 
Mm, not much point in doing too much with that. Aha, would you look at that? It's now showing me an actual countdown timer. Lovely. This is where it gets a little bit more exciting for me, you know. Nice. And it, the minutes go down like seconds, really. Well, every time I do a sprint, it does anyway. So we should be there in well under an hour, which is cool. Okay, people, I'm a thousand years away now. I'll tell you what, when you've flown across the planet to get to one of these places and you've been flying for hours and you've been dropping off, picking up your bit of tech, doing your little thing, I say, when you see where you're going to be heading to, it's a feeling of being, oh, I'm home at last, you know? It's that sort of feeling. Heck yes, I've arrived, decoded. So even the exploration in this mode, or playing the way I'm playing right now, without ships, it does add an extra dimension to play. But I'll tell you what, well, something else it also makes me realise is just how beautiful these planets are, but at the same time how samey they are across the landscape. And I can't wait to see Light No Sky, I mean Light No Fire, the actual proper game, and how it's all actualised inside of that. I'll oh, please be an S-Class or something. Have the Blaze Javelin installed. Oh, it's got the advanced mining laser. But it hasn't got the Blaze Javelin. And it's a B-Class all this way. It's not a bad multi-tool. It's not. It just hasn't got the module in it that I was hoping that it would have. It, it could have had the pole splitter. It could have had any module, really. Any weapon. And I would have been really happy. But oh, my advanced mining laser. Okay, all right, fine. Let's interact with this then. Lovely. Now uh, let's have a look what we can sell then. I was hoping to come all this way and, you know. Oh well. Well, you can get 22,000 for that at the moment. But let's uh, let's just pop them. So I've got another seven. There we are. Oh, we've got some gold. And uh, uh, let's go into here then. And sell. Oh, look. Sometimes it gives you crystallized sulfide. That's good to know. Alright, well, what else can I sell then? Where are those things? Granite. There we go. Got 1.4, 1.5 million. Just just out of interest, how much was this B class? Compare. 3 million? <laughs> really? I wouldn't have been able to afford it anyway. I need twice as much. That's insane. Okay, alright, fine. Okay, so that was my little um, mission to come all the way out here. Well, I can claim this for the 07 Brew Crew anyway. I mean, fun times. I don't suppose you want to give me a nice bit of technology, do you? If I do you some sort of... If I do you something... If I do you a favour, would you give me a favour? Would you going to give me something lovely? That'd be nice if you could. I have no idea what you just said. I can only seek an opinion on intellect of my own species. Uh, okay. Point to the slug, point to the beak trader, point to electronic life form. I'm going to point to the slug. I'm going to humble them, make them feel really special. Uh, pities me. Hands me a gift. Brilliant. What's he going to give me? Go on, give me a blaze javelin. <laughs> oh, he gave me some ammunition. Oh, thank you. Cheers. All right. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, everyone loves a freebie. I guess they do. Right. Well, some damage tech up there. So I've just got to pray and hope that I get randomly lucky, haven't I? Let's go set hit up that damage tech. I'll go back there in a minute and build a base. Okay, people, I only got nanites out of that machinery. I'll put down a base here, though, so at least we can get back and forth. And, yeah, it's another claim for the 07 Brew Crew. Like a... Like a vault tech multi-tour, that one. Okay, well, that's, that's kind of that at the moment, peeps. I wonder how far away, if I pop this chart here... I wonder how far away the Sentinel Tower is from here. If it's miles and miles away, I don't, I don't know whether I can be asked to go on another adventure today, people. Okay, how far away are you? Oh! 45 minutes. Well, that's a bit better than hours, isn't it? Alright, fine. We'll go do that. Oh, hello there, Eastleek. How are you, sir? Hello, Eastleek. I thought I heard you join. Yeah. There we go. Oh no, wrong with pet. Dang it. Right, well, I call him my beetle. 
Hiya! Alright! Well, we're heading towards the actual Sentinel Tower then. Come here, I'll see you at the Sentinel Tower, people. Okay, up. So um, rules pretty much same as last time. Same as last Find time. The um, most expensive artifacts. Yeah, the only things that's different is the uh, neutron cannon and geology cannons are both banned this time around because um, they both negate shields. So. Gotcha. Yeah. And as and, far as the knights go, uh, yeah. when are we able to get our multi tool or whatever it is? Uh, yeah, you can get. Um, the multi-tool, you are allowed to get the Positron Ejector or the... No, not Positron Ejector. Scatter Blaster or the Blaze Javelin. <coughs> okay. And you can install, like, the B-Class module to go with it as well, you know, while you're up in the station. So while you're doing your mask, choose whichever one you want out of those two. Okay. Got it, I'm hoping to find a blaze javelin inside of this multi-tool inside the sentinel pillar. Hopefully I get lucky. Go. I mate. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice. Go. Cool. Well, good luck in getting your helmet and all that sort of stuff and getting started. And um, yeah, build yourself a lovely base. It's good to have another one of my knights in. Go. Cool. Yes, sir. And you said your base was called the. Oh uh... seven. Bridge, uh, Brew Crew Drinking Tea House or HQ or something. It's got a HQ in title. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. HQ. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, you should be able to use the teleporter in the station to teleport directly to my base because it's got a teleporter in it. Um, so teleporters you can build in bases this time around rather than have a hub because the hubs didn't render last time. So, fun times. Right. Okay, cool. And cool. Any, any bases that you find or any sort of waypoints that you find, you know, like points of interest say if you find a nice minor settlement you can put a base there uh -huh. put a teleporter there so you can add it to your list of teleporting places that you can go to oh okay cool yeah cool. just awesome. make sure you put 07 inside of the uh, title of any bases that you create and then we can all use right. them like a network of teleporters gotcha okay nice nice good to know good to know go all right go Right for this. I must have wanted some damaged machinery. Come on, get lucky. Oh, I got a toxic protection module S class. That I can sell for Ooh. some nanites. Nice. There's another damaged machinery over here. I'm only jumping off of my uh, beetle when I'm traveling. If I see two damaged machineries near each other, it's not really worth jumping off just for one, is it? No. And nanites. Cool. Got an S class scanner module earlier. Not that we really need to scan anything. But at least it's going to get me a few more nanites when I do, I suppose. Yeah. Right. Anyway, I'm, about, I'm going to leave group if that's all right, buddy. Um, I'm making yeah, videos no and stuff like that. So have a good one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too. See you, mate. Bye bye. See ya. Okay, chums, well, I've arrived located at this sentinel structure. Now, the nice thing about these sentinel structures is when you shut down the sentinel activity, it actually destroys all the sentinels that are here. So, I'm just going to get their attention quickly by blowing up some stuff. Like that. And if I run over to this console here and press the button on it, I should get a load of glass. There we go. Shut down Sentinel forces. You watch that one blow up on my screen. Kaboom. There you go. They're all done. Sweet. I'm just going to come out of there for a second. Look, you can then go over and just grab all this stuff. Now, this is going to be good because I can now come here shut down the sentinel activity get bits and bobs for doing that and uh, turn them into the guild envoy and hopefully up my rank rating with the actual guild envoys so we go let's put the little base here oh, before i get the base here let's see what multi-tool i can get out of here 
go on, have a blaze javelin or um, a pulse spitter. Ah, it's a C class. It's got nothing of interest. Okay. I mean, I can take that multi tool, but there's no reason to. Darn it! It's not a very good one. That's a shame. No, what's this all up, up here? What's that land about? Don't know what that means. Don't know what that little extra bit underneath there means. First time I've ever noticed that. Oh, maybe that's damage slots 10. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's ten. Yeah, that's what that is. All right. Cool. Not a very good one. Fine. Exit. But at least I can come here, battle sentinels, pull a load of sentinels in, and blow them up. I might as well interact with that. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. What was that sound? It sounded like something else just exploded then. That was a bit random. I have no idea. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get this claimed for the 07 Brew Crew. My gosh. Lovely. And claim base. Sweet. And this can be my Sentinel Killing Farm. So I should be able to get loads of glass here, loads of other bits, and turn it into the Colossal Archive. Heck yes. Oh, wow. Big sentinel thingy just spawned in. Anyway, I'll build a base. It won't be a moment. Oh, people! A trader just landed! A trader just landed! I've got 7,000 unit nanites. Hello there, mate. Heck yes! I want to buy stuff. I want to buy lots of stuff. Please! Look, this is the first one I've seen. Sorry, I'm overly excited. Suspicious scanner. Life support. Oh, I want that. I'm going to look what he's got first before I start spending anything. Suspicious movement module. Oh, shield module. Oh, nice. Uh, what else we got? Is that for exosuit? Yes, it is. Brilliant. What's this one? Starship one. Neutron cannon can't have that. Photon cannon can't have that. Bulk. Oh, we got. Oh no. That he has got. He's got no other multi-tool weapons. Are you having a laugh? Oh, mate, mate. Okay, well I'll have the bolt caster. Ah, oh, I thought that was a scatter blaster. It's not. It's the infra knife. Dang it! Photon cannon don't want. Neutron cannon is banned. Shield module, okay. Engine module, hyperdrive. That's for exosuit. Would have that. Oh, it's letting me buy another one. Oh yeah, we'd have two of them then. Okay, what else we got? We've got a movement module. Yeah, we'd have that then. And I think I can buy two of them too. Three of them. All right, I've bought three. Okay, well, we get the life support. Life support again. Heck yes. Oh, I've got a phone call coming in, people. It was just Ivy. I was hoping I could get her a, a desk fan or something for work. Oh, God, someone splinter in the finger. Ah, how'd I get that? Right, got the splinter out of my finger. Okay, cool. Right, what else have we got? Right, so I don't need any of those. I don't want to let him go before I, you know, Starship Shield, Neutron Cannon, Suspicious Photon Cannon. I can only buy one of those. All right, well, I've got a nice little packet from him. It's nice that he lands here. It's a shame. Yeah, OK, well, I'll build a base here, but this is cool. Hopefully we get more come and land soon. Go on, go fly away. Come back another day. Right, let's, uh, let's make the base then. Okay, so I've created a little base. It's just a teleporter in a little mud hut. But yeah, at least it serves as some sort of cover, I suppose, if you do want to start shooting the sentinels. So there we go. That's that pretty much done, peeps. And um, yeah, not having much luck in getting my um, extra additional weapon. But at least we've got this now, which I can stick that in next to my bolt caster. Which has made the bolt caster even more terrific. We're now on 2780. Let's just move that off of there for a second. Put that there. No, that didn't work too well, did it? It's not a very good X-class module that I've got. It's not bad, but it's not it's not brilliant. Okay, God. I mean, what I could do is move that over there. Maybe, maybe move that there. 2708. That's about as best as I'm going to get it at the moment. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. We didn't get more of those modules, but there we go. All right, let's get this in then. Boom. 
Pow, pow. Okay, we've got a couple of movement modules. So uh, really, I need to move... Let's move these over here. And what about if I move those over there? Movement module. Pow. Movement module. Lovely. Another movement module. That's my maximum. We've got a shield module. And another shield module. Do those go there? Yes, they do. There you go. Adjacency bonus. Sweet. Okay, right. Now we've got some awesome shields, which is good. My defences are good. It's my offence that's not very good right now. And we've got this S-Class scanner unit that I can stick in. Might as well stick that over there. Put that over with it. And then hopefully if we get some more bolt caster modules, I can put them there. At least my bolt caster might be semi-decent. It's a shame the bolt caster doesn't have a fire module to set people on fire. That'd be nice. Okay, right. There we go, people. So, although I've travelled all this way, it's actually been pretty productive, if you think about it, isn't it? Right, there we go. We'll top up the life support. And hopefully that life support is not going to go down as fast anymore. Right, oh. Cool. Well, I was going to say. And I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do this episode. So that was a freaking trek and a half to get here. But yeah, I don't know how long this shuts down Sentinel Activity 4. But hopefully now, with my little base of networks, I've got a classical archive and a Sentinel Tower. My idea is... Is to then go into here. You know, I've got one of those hard frames now, haven't I? Let's go donate a hard frame. Uh, no, well, yeah, I want to go to my archive. There we go. Zoom. Okay, right. Well, I've arrived, located at my colossal archive. Omnus Gaunt has just joined my sesh, so we might hear from him in a second. Let's go and donate some bits into here. So here, if I hit donate, I can put in the salvage glass. Let's um. Let's give all free salvage glass to this guild envoy. There we go. Ah. It wouldn't let me donate the other bit. That I... Oh, no. I, I wasn't on donate, was I? I don't know, actually. Was I? I have no clue whether you were or weren't. You know I mate? I'm making videos. Making videos. How are you, buddy? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm having a great time. I'm over in Sunny Coast taking photographs of me in different places. Well, nice. Cool. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll um, send them to you later. Um, I just just thought you might like to um, yes. taunt them with them, maybe. And <laughs> yeah, he's put out a kill order. So anybody appearing inside of his um, his Crayola kingdom, he's, he's actually put out the order to kill them. So be a bit careful out there. But and also be yeah, aware. What? Yeah. Why do you think I'm here? Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, I mean, well, if he's if he's going if he's going to put a death penalty on uh, our team, then yeah, I'm going to I'm going to be here and take photographs, okay. and then I'm just going going to um, say hello. I was speaking to him this morning. Oh, sweet! Oh, that's cool. Uh, I, I, I'm actually yeah. I've got a picture of me on his throne. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in the Great Hall and everything else. Oh, nice. I'm actually trying to, I'm trying to find his base computer at the moment. Yeah. I'm, 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 he's actually redesigned quite a bit since I was last year. Fun times. Well, <laughs> yeah, I saw him in one of his videos putting up a massive castle wall all right around the whole perimeter of his base. So I can see that he's been busy. So. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, changed, he's changed a fair bit of things. Um, but like I said, I'm here to have some fun and yeah, take yeah. photographs while I'm here. Cool. And where have you got these photographs? Are they on the PlayStation or are they? Yeah, they're on the PS5, mate. So I'll I'll send them over to you. All right, cool. And and you can use them in an, another video or whatever, just to yeah, just to say hello. I put them as an end montage to this video I'm making right now, mate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, because um. I had a chat with Mr. Cynical this morning. Yeah. We, we, we did a mock PvP. I, I was given a death pardon before I met him. Yeah. And he got me. He got you? 
<laughs> yeah, go away. Um, straight off my mount, um, landed, shields went down. Um, yeah. I, f I fired a couple of scatter blaster shots. Yeah. And uh, the sentinels decided they would join in. Oh, so no. Not, not only did I have Mr. Cynical, <laughs> I had sentinels. Oh, no. What weapons is Cynical using? Yeah, he was actually using a bolt caster from his um, staff. Oh, okay. Oh, that's all I've got right now. I've fully upgraded the bolt caster. Well, I haven't. I need two two or three more X-Class modules or something. Yeah, that, that's what he's using X-Class modules in his. Mm -hmm. And I, I actually, I had the audacity to call it a pea shooter. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty <laughs> mental. When you get it fully upgraded, yeah. it's it's pretty mental. Yeah, I'm actually thinking to swap out to a bolt caster again. Yeah, I've just got to hope some traders land near me so I can buy some more bolt caster modules if they've got them. Yeah, <laughs> I lost everything this morning. Even the egg he gave me. Yeah. I mean, I only had like an hour, hour and a half to go before it hatched. Ah, uh, fair enough. Um, okay. But hey, it happens. It yeah. was a bit of fun. Yeah, well, at least you tried. At least you've got a sense of the enemy, which is good. You know, you got me some information there. So I now know that he's using an X-Class bolt caster. So we're going to be matched in firepower, maybe. Hopefully, if I can get some more X-Class modules. So uh, I find traders uh, tend to land when you're not near a load of bases. So I've actually just opened a trade post for us as well um, in the north. Okay. You'll see it, 07 Brew Crew... Traders second or traders two. Yeah, so you've got a few I'll, sentinel I'll... pillars, but every time I try to go to your centre, now I'm in your group though. Hold on, group. Yes, this might work. I'm going to go to each of your sentinel pillars. It says downloading, and I'm going to check the multi tools to see if they've got a uh, oh. decent weapon in. Well, uh, you'll need. Um, uh, hold on, I'll give you um, access. Um. Now you're in my group, you're in my friends. Yeah. So, um, add base parts, delete. Yeah, it's the base parts, but we need this, isn't it? I don't know. At the moment, it's just not downloading. Um, it's not letting me go to it. Have you actually put teleporters at each of these locations? No, I haven't. Not yet. Um, oh, okay. I didn't know. I didn't. At that point, I didn't know we could actually do the teleporter, sir. Yeah, yeah. If you can go back to all of those Sentinel towers. And put in um, just going to creative mode. Put down a teleporter and enough power to power the teleporter. I might be able to get to all of them. Okay, I've, um, no, I'm not allowed to use cynicals. Well, I am actually because I didn't teleport here, but the rules don't say that I can't teleport from here to wherever I want to go. Yeah, as long as it's an o you can teleport to any O7 Brew Crew discovery. So as long as they've named it right. We're good to go. I tell you another thing in Cynicals, either these um, group aren't rendering in yeah. or they're all underground. Yeah, I can see you've got traders too. Is that just a trade post? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. that's just a trade post, mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as I said, I'm here. I've, I've Canary's Rest. I, either it hasn't rendered in or mm. they're all underground. Because I did not. The only building I see, yeah, is Cynicals, the one that I'm in. Ah, oh, okay. So I, I, I genuinely don't know if um, if they're underground. I know I, I'm underground. <laughs> you've got a shack on the top, and then you've got me under it. Hmm. Uh, but I do know that from Cynicals balcony. <laughs> And you're going yeah. to love this. Yeah. I put a base down. It says 07 Brew Crew, Cynical, we see you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just saw that in the base teleporter terminus, but I can't <laughs> jump anywhere. Right, chums, well, I started getting the sound glitch. I tend to get the sound glitch every time I'm back at my base, and it's really annoying. So I'm just reloading back in before I can end off. Well, I'm not seeing any images from Sir Ornimus Gaunt, so I can't really show those either. So maybe they come through. If they do come through, I'll show them another time. Righto, chums. So before the sound glitch starts, I might as well say goodbye. So thank you guys out there in the viewerverse for watching. And until next time, peeps, I'm not too sure what we're going to do next time. I mean, I just need another trader to come. 
So I might try and just up my faction rating for now with my Colossal Archive Guild Envoy by killing Sentinels. That sounds like something to do Why I'm waiting for a trader to land. Anyway, I'll be doing that with you next episode, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Captain Steve, Captain Steve. Captain, Captain Steve. Thanks all his new members and backers. Thank you, Sir Ominous Gaunt. Thank you, Rob Roll. Thank you, B Turtle. Thank you, 1975 Adam. Thank you, Stephen Jardine. Thank you, Bow Chaser. Thank you, Mike UK. If you can back my channel through membership or Patreon, they keep my channel going on. Oh, seven, oh, chaser, oh, seven, like you can.